we've always just taken the approach to talk to him like he does understand everything. You know, and I think that kind of leads to another question of what exactly does Nathaniel understand? So he knows when people are, he knows when he's hungry, he knows when there's a, a sound that he likes happening. So, so I think it's basically like, you know, years ago when we had testing done through the school, it was like cognitively, he was about like at a 12 month old baby, you know, nine to 12 months. But like socially, he's more like 18 months because he does respond verbally to people. Um, like he likes to play ball. Like if you throw a ball and it lands in his lap, he'll pick it up and throw it back at you. You know, and he does this turn taking thing where he makes a noise and you make the same noise or a sound or knocking or a sound with his lips. So like socially, like mm. he's a little bit, you know, more advanced than cognitively. And then a thing to remember, like when people want to communicate with Nathaniel, mm. is he's legally blind. So like sometimes people wave at him. Well, he doesn't see that wave. So I usually tell people, you know, to go up and like, he would give them a five or, you know, like um, touch his arm or something so that he knows that you're there or speak to him definitely and not just make a hand motion because he can't mm. see you. Yeah, and so I've always just right. taken the approach of talk to him like he does understand everything. Right. Mm. So I think he understands mm. way more than what he could communicate back to you. Yeah. What are some of the most common misconceptions mm. people have about a family with a kid mm. like Nathaniel or people affected by disability?